The Queen was pictured arriving at a church service at St. Mary Magdalene Church in Sandringham on Sunday, for the second week in a row. Britain's longest-serving monarch, 92, has attended the church service this afternoon as the Queen enjoys an extended break in Sandringham, Norfolk. Last week she attended with Prince William and Kate Middleton where the Queen looked elegant in a tan wool coat with a fur trim and a matching hat. Today she returned to her usual bright-colored clothing, wearing a stunning royal purple. The Queen matched her matching mauve hat and coat with a pair of black gloves. The church service was attended by other members of the royal family including her nephew Earl Snowden. Well-wishers gathered at the church to catch a sight of the monarch. Each winter the Queen and Duke of Edinburgh head to the Norfolk estate, typically staying until February. After a busy Christmas with the royal family in Sandringham, Queen Elizabeth is enjoying a quieter January in Norfolk before she returns to Buckingham Palace next month. According to the Daily Mail, heading to church this morning, the Queen was accompanied by Earl Snowden, who is her nephew, and Lady Helen Taylor, the daughter of one of the Queen's cousins. Just last weekend, Queen Elizabeth was accompanied to the morning church service by her grandson Prince William and his wife, Kate Middleton. On both occasions, royal fans could be seen waiting at the gates for the Queen's arrival. Just this week it was revealed that the Queen has bestowed Meghan Markle with her first four royal patronages. In fact, Meghan will be taking over two of the Queen's long-standing patronages in her new royal role at the National Theatre in London, and at the Association of Commonwealth Universities. As reported by Architectural Digest, Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip remain at Sandringham until February 6, to honour the memory of the Queen's father. King George VI died in 1952, and the Queen leaves the Christmas decorations up at Sandringham until she returns to London, as a mark of respect to her late father.